good health to you. What about the crown? Is it finished? I'm a man of my word. Of course it's finished. Such a shame you couldn't find a Moldavite. It's rather lackluster without it. May the Lord watch over you. Welcome, Henry. I'm glad you're here. God save. Can I help you with anything? I brought the roan, my lady. That's wonderful. There weren't any problems with it, I hope. Careful, that horse is a wild one. He won't endure a rider. He kept throwing me. Well, that won't do. Sophie can't have some wild horse at her wedding starting a stampede. But I've learnt a trick. If you sing to him, he calms down. You sang to a horse? It's quite true, I'm afraid. I sang to a horse. Well, then you'll have to sing something to me, too. My lady, I, I don't know if I... So I know how to calm down that roan. Go ahead, sing. <clears throat> Two horses come roaming in the merry month of May. To graze in the shade of the apple tree there. Uh, the first one is brown and the second is grey. Which shall I ride to my maiden so fair? Oh, how beautiful! I'm not surprised the horse calmed down after hearing such a lovely voice. Anyway, I'll think about what to do with the roan. But thank you, Henry. I brought you the crown from the master engraver. Henry, you are a gem. Wait, there was supposed to be a large Moldavite placed here. What's this? The Moldavite got lost along the way from Prague. I arranged for it to be replaced with something else. Ah. I understand. Even so, Henry, I'd prefer to decide on such matters myself. So, what's next? I brought the wine. Wonderful, wonderful. No wedding is complete without good wine. Find somewhere here to put it down. I'll send for a servant to bring it later. I hope you had no problems acquiring it. Problems? Huh. I don't know the meaning of the word. <laughs> As if I didn't know you. What can I do for you, my lady? Nothing. You've done enough. And now I'd like to reward you. That's not necessary, my lady. You taking the time to see me is reward enough. Come now, Henry. No need for such modesty. I appreciate everything you've done for me as well as your company. And there's something I'd like to give you. This shirt was my father's. He was built very much like you. Broad shoulders, strong chest. It should fit you just right. But... but I can't accept this. It's too valuable. 
It's too valuable to be left to the mercy of moths. It doesn't fit my husband well, and I've no one else to give it to. What's more, if you were to leave us again, I'd like you to have something to remember me by, so you don't forget me. I could never forget you, my lady. Well then, won't you try it on at least? What? Right now? Why not? Don't worry, I won't look. I'll turn my back. And what if your husband comes in? He won't. Neither will anyone else. All right, then. God be with you. I feel truly blessed to have you here. So long I yearned for young company. I really feel God heard my prayers and sent you to me. I'm ready. My, you do look handsome. As fine as any gentleman. When I was a little girl, there were always lots of other children around and young men and women of the court. It was so merry. I always hoped it would be like that when I was grown up too. But it was not God's plan. You and Sir Divish had no children. No. No, alas, we, we were not blessed. Twice I was with child, but they did not live. And now I fear there's no hope for me. My lady. Forgive me, my lady. I, I, I shouldn't have. I don't mind. God bless you. What troubles you? God save, my lord. I hope things are peaceful in your fiefdom. Peace? Peace is rare in these times. But right now I'm more troubled by politics than warfare. What's wrong? 
The monastery stalled the purchase of stone and everything connected to the building project. <laughs> and now I find out it's because of the quality of the stone block. What do they say is wrong with the stone? Supposedly, there was an accident when one of the stone blocks broke loose, fell, and killed someone. But the quarry master swears by all the saints it isn't possible. He says he sends only the best stone, and I believe him. He's reliable and an experienced... Profiteering? What's the monastery trying to accomplish? To lower the price. What else? We've already given them a fair price, and they still delay with payment. Or worse. Worse? You mean they'll stop paying completely? You could put it that way. They're looking for an excuse to back out of the contract. And is anyone dealing with the problem? Well, my Chamberlain is in charge of it, as always. But all he's done is send them a letter. He's So there's nothing else that can be done? I don't know. I've been thinking about taking a more direct approach. But I expect the Chamberlain won't even hear of it. He'll just keep on sending them polite letters and hoping that does the trick. I could help with this. Do you think this is a job for you? You aren't even in my service. I do serve Sir Radzig. He knows he can rely on me when he needs me. I've never let him down. This is true. So do you want to go to Sassau and ask about the stone? Yes, I'll do it. Good. I'd like you to ask about the stone and keep your ears open. See if they aren't talking about another quarry. I'll do my best. Hopefully they'll talk to me. They will. You ride in my name. So don't forget to remind them of it. Good luck to you. God save you. What can I do for you? I heard that the monastery is causing problems. Well, it may seem that way to someone who's unfamiliar with this specific case, but in fact, the situation is far more complex. So they aren't buying less stone, and it isn't taking them longer to do everything? Well, yes, these things are happening, of course, but it's hardly the first time. It's common practice. I've written them a courteous letter, and the matter will be settled again soon. And what if they're looking for another quarry, with better stone at a better price? That's ridiculous. Nothing but idle rumours. I haven't received an official complaint from the monastery, and so all is well. Good luck to you. Greetings, Henry. What are you after here, fucker? Blood will be spilt!
Greetings. What do you need? I'd like to discuss the price. Hmm. Aye, with that amount I can be persuaded. I can be of some humble service to you.
Greetings, Henry. What happened to Philip? Poor man. There was nothing wrong with him, and now he's getting worse every day. But do you know why? Maybe. He didn't run away from Scallets, you see. If he got poisoned. But what can we do? Us. Nothing. Only Father Simon might have been able to save him. And where is he? You know he left Scallets years ago. And does anyone know where he ended up? <laughs> if you believe the stories about a wild man in the woods, then Rovnar is the place to go. Tell me more about the situation here. All right, that's... What's wrong with that man by the altar? He doesn't look wounded, but he's really pale and doesn't react at all. He had a broken leg, a bad one. The bone had come right through the skin. We tried to straighten it, but I don't know if we did it right. I'm not holding out much hope for him. I've seen folk in that state before. My God, there has to be something. And what do you suggest? The monks won't help, and I don't know anyone else who can. What about the executioner from Ratai? He usually breaks bones, but he might know something about mending them too. The executioner? Even if you could persuade him to come, they'll never let him in here. Well, maybe it would be enough if he advised me and then I tried... Look, do whatever you want. I have... One of the sick men, Semek, is complaining about pain and the fact he can't work. He says he... Semek? Is he one of our people? No, he's a construction worker. He's bruised and confined to me. Henry, for God's sake, our neighbours are dying here. Your friends. There isn't time to waste on some construction worker's bruises. Oh, honestly, what were you thinking? Listen, all I need to find out is the name of a herb. Then go and look it up in a book. You've got your own herbarium, haven't you? God bless. I can't sleep again. You've got no business. I've been sent here from Talmberg. I'm to speak with the one responsible for construction. That'd be the master builder. Or with our brother, the overseer. What matter is it you're here about? It has to do with the stone for construction. Ah, then that's a matter of supply. You'll want to talk to the overseer. He knows more about that sort of thing. He studies right above us, more or less. Go up the steps to the left and then head back in this direction, almost the whole way. Can I take a look inside the monastery? What's got into you, boy? The grounds inside the monastery belong to the... Farewell. I'm honored that you should... I've come in the name of Sir Divish. I'd like to have a look around the spot where the accident happened. And why is Sir Divish interested in that regrettable accident? He'd like to know what role the masonry had in it. 
or at least its quality. I guess it played a crucial role, but I don't intend to stand in the way of your investigation. I've already made sure the poor man was well taken care of. Thank you. I appreciate it. They sent you a letter from Talmberg. Really? Hand it over then. Oh no, I'm not the messenger. They sent it earlier. And it still hasn't arrived? It depends on who the letter was passed on to, but I'm sure it will find its way here in the end. Who's in charge of purchasing materials for the construction? Mainly it's me. I pay the fees and make arrangements for delivery, but those in charge of the actual building take care of the rest. I'm not knowledgeable when it comes to the quality of stone. They had the red stone delivered from a long way off. They take care of storage as well? Yes, but usually whatever arrives is used up straight away. The construction is in full progress. Do you remember when they brought the last delivery of stone? Yes. It rained a lot that week, so they let the carriage sit right outside of the gate on the other side of the wall. It took some time before it was dry enough for further transport. And there wasn't anything strange about it? A little strange, I suppose. Usually they bring us a large block of stone, which the builders cut to size. But this time it was a number of smaller pieces. No one complained. They probably saw it as less work. I heard that you were late with your payment to the Talmberg Quarry. That's true. We ourselves had late payments. Take care now.
Good day to you. What? Mother of God, you look like you've been assaulted. May the Lord watch over you. Good luck. I'd like to discuss the... Sure. What about this? That's not enough. I, for that amount, I can be persuaded. I'd like to discuss the price. Aye. What about this? Well, a little more and we'll call it a deal. That's a sum I can live with. God grant you health. How may I help you? Good luck, Bob.
Who's there? Answer me. Can we do something about the price? Sure, why not? Finally, a reasonable sum. Can I sleep here? Certainly. For how long? Just the one night. No problem. But you pay in advance. Here you go. You've got it all to yourself. No one will disturb you. Where do I go to sleep? That's easy. As soon as you go indoors, at the end of the room on the left, there's a door leading to the chamber. Everything's prepared for you there. May the Lord watch over you. Good day to you.
Let's have a word about the price. Mm -hmm. Is this enough? Well now, a little more and we'll shake off. I knew we'd come to an arrangement. My humble greetings. How may I help you? <coughs> Let's have a word about the price. Why not? this enough? Well, a little more and we'll call it a deal. I knew we'd come to an arrangement. The herbalist Kunhuta sent me. I'm here because of the ghost. You don't look like you know a thing about ghosts. Why didn't she come herself? Why did she send someone so young instead? Do you know anything at all about exorcisms? She was in too much pain to make the journey. But you can trust me. I know what I'm doing. You'd better. Well, get to work then. There's a few things I need to know first. I'd rather you just got on with it. But I don't suppose I've got any choice, so ask. What exactly has been going on? It happens at night. Every night, now an apparition comes to me and I can't get a wink of sleep. I can't take it anymore. Whose ghost is it? His name was Alois and he had a farm not far from Ledechko. A few years ago, his farmhouse burned down with him in it. I've heard that people who die such horrible deaths seldom rest in peace. Why do you think he chose you of all people? How am I supposed to know? Maybe because we're neighbours. We grew up together as children. Hmm. I suppose that makes sense. Where is Alois buried? For the exorcism, I'll need flowers from his grave. He's laid to rest in the Sassau Cemetery by the wall. His grave is a bit overgrown with vines. I've been there a few times for a visit. The first day he appeared, I prayed at his grave, but he... I know everything I need. Then for God's sake, perform the ritual as soon as possible. Good luck then.
could do with a bite to eat. Greetings, Henry. Tell me more about the situation here. All right, that's all. God bless. <coughs> Henry, how are you? I brought some meat. <laughs> Thank you, Henry. Rich food will definitely help. Take care. You've got no business here. Jesus Christ be praised. The overseer sent me. You're to show me the place where the accident happened. <sighs> like I've got time to spare to show you round. Because of the Talmberg stone. If they really are delivering poor quality material, then there's... I'd be interested in what kind. <laughs> but I'm guessing the overseer likes the I... And have you noticed anything else going on? Of course. It's a construction site. Things are always going wrong. The men are always complaining and the work isn't being... <laughs> so it's just like any other building work? Essentially, yes. Occasionally someone brings in bad wood or a man cuts off his thumb and blames it on a bad omen. And then there's all these rumors going around. 
I'd be interested to know what the men talk about. Who's been stealing? Which men from the monastery go to visit women? How the work's going? Normal things. It's only the talk about the curse that's not in the... And then there's that devil's skull they dug up. You talked about the devil's skull? I did. They say it was found in the hole dug for the foundation of the scaffolding. They moved it so it would do its harm elsewhere. But I wasn't there to see it, so... And who might know more? Shouldn't you be investigating the stone? Leshek's in charge of the scaffolding, so ask him if you really have to know. He might tell you... Who's stealing? Could someone be stealing the stone? According to the rumors, everyone from the abbot and the custodian down to the lowest... And something gets lost here and there, that's true. But nobody stole any stone. There wouldn't be any left if every man... Where's the scene of the accident? It didn't happen on the main site. It was at the outbuilding next to the church, right under the long stairs before the entrance door. Ask my assistant who's in charge there. You'll easily recognize him. He dresses up like he owns the place. Good luck to you. May the Lord watch over you. God be with you. I heard you found something. It's true. I dug it up during work. I then ran away with it and got rid of it. So the And what was it that nobody was supposed to see? What do you think? Here, on holy ground, in the middle of the monastery. But it was outside the monastery walls. Where exactly? Is there anything else there worth seeing? Nothing but scaffolding. We started digging there to set foundations for extending it. And are you sure it was a devil's skull? I know what I saw. I can recognize a human skull. And this one had horns. Like the devil. Besides, the thing gave off a diabolical stink. And where is it now? What did you do with it? I... I was taking it down to the river to throw it in. Only I dropped it at the top of the slope and it rolled downhill. The devil alone knows where it ended up. Hmm. I'll see if I can find it. May the Lord watch over you. The stone fell on him here. You can still see the marks. This has to be the stone that hit him. I'll take a piece of it. Maybe someone will recognize it. <laughs> 